Welcome to another Gibbs Cam video. Today we're going to show you how to fill in gaps in a part. For instance, like this part here. We want to machine this. It's very thin wall. So if you're machining this as it is now with this gap in here, uh, you're going to have a lot of vibration. So what we want to do is fill in the gap here and we'll fill in these while we're at it as well. So in Gibbs, when you bring in a solid model, it'll always be gray. That's the standard colors, unless you change the colors. But the standard color that comes in in a solid model will be gray. If it comes in as blue, you know it's a surface model, and it has gaps in there, or the edges are not stitched together. So this is gray, so we know it's a solid model. So we want to first double-click this, put it in the body bag. We're going to save our original in the body bag. I'm going to click on it and press Control D for duplicate. And now we have a duplicate out on our screen. So the original is always in the body bag, so we can always refer back to that. So what I want to do first is I want to heal up this hole. We'll, we'll heal up a few of these as well, even though we don't need to, but just to show you how to do it. So on the solid modeling palette, let me close these. If you click on this button right here, this is Advanced Solid Modeling. And what we're looking for here is this button here, Unstitch Solid. So what we're going to do, I don't want to create a plug. This is really good if you're going to, if you need a plug for an EDM, uh, like a sinker, this would be really fantastic to use. But we're just going to heal up the holes here. So I'm going to turn on face selection, because if you don't have it on face selection, it selects the whole part. We just want face selection on. So I'm going to select this face in here and want to make sure it got around the whole circle, which it looked like it did. Click on do it and you can see it heals it up. Now you can do multiples at a time, which is fine. So those are healed up. Let's heal up these while we're at it. And the one down on the other end. So now we have our holes healed. Now what we want to do here is we can't really heal this up. There's uh, alignment right here and some various things here. So we're going to actually make patches to put in here to fill it in then uh, create a solid model from the patches. So the first thing I want to do, I'm going to bring up my surface modeling palette. And I'm going to click on this face right here. And I'm going to right click and say select all tangent faces. You can see it selected everything on the inside of that. And what I want to do is unstitch the sheet. And you can see Gibbs turns this kind of a lighter blue than the background. That tells me it's a surface model now. So if I take this sheet I just unstitched and double click it, put it in the body bag. You can see it in the body bag over here. You can see this is hollow inside here. If I turn on the edges, you might be able to see it a little bit better. You can see it's hollow inside there. It's a surface model now. So our goal is to stitch this up and make it back into a solid model. So what we want to do here, a couple of things here. We're going to be using a Coons patch right here to patch this up and then we'll make it into a solid model. So the first thing to do is you have to work with edges. On a Coons patch requires three to four edges to create a patch. So I'm going to turn on edge selection so I can see my edges. So we're going to start with the top right here. I'm going to select this edge and hold control so this edge. Right click, extract the edges. And I want zero there because I want it to match exactly on those surfaces. Click on do it. You can see I have two pieces of geometry there. And I'll turn edge selection off so you can see a little bit better. Bring up your geometry palette and I'm going to click on uh, on the view and turn off the extend lines because I don't want the lines going clear out there. So I'm just going to click on draw a line between those two points and between those two points. Now you can see I have four edges 
to create a coons patch. So I'm going to select the four edges by holding down control and click on coons patch and you see I have a patch there. Now the difference between red that you see here and if I flip it upside down you can see it's blue that toggles that's the sheet side so I usually want to uh, create have the blue pointing out so I'm just going to click on that go to modify toggle side so you can see that's blue now and it'll be red underneath. I'm going to delete what I don't need here. You can leave them, but I just kind of like to clean them up here. Okay, the next two edges. Right there and right there. Right click, extract the geometry. Turn off edge selection so you can see it better. I have three sides now. I need one more side. Now I have my four sides there. Select it. Coons patch there. We'll reverse the side, the toggle the sheet side, and you can see now I have two patches there. Flip it around. Gonna delete what I don't need. Edge selection again. There and there. Sorry, right there. Extract the edges. Turn off edge selection. Make a patch in there. I already have my four edges there. Create a coons patch. Okay, that's done. We'll toggle the side there. Make sure I got the right one there. We'll toggle that side. Okay. Next, turn on edge selection again. Select that one and that one. Extract the edge. Again, draw a line between there and there. I have my four edges now. One, two, three, four coons patch okay next one now I don't want to extract the edges on this last one like this because it'll make this as one line and the coons patch needs three to four lines so I'm gonna select this one and this one extract the edges okay these are separated there so I have one two three now I need one more so I'm gonna do this one separately there's my four. Turn off edge selection. You can see a little bit better. One, two, three, four. Create a coons patch. Last one we have to do is the bottom. Again, I'll delete these so you can see it better. Okay. We'll turn edges off there. Make it easier to see. Okay edge selection this one this one this one separately now I have my four edges there one two three sorry three four okay turn off all the geometry you can see now I have my patches but you can see it's still blue that tells me it's still a surface model. We really don't want a surface, a surface model because there could be tiny gaps in here which may make the tool dive in a little bit or jump. So we want to make sure it's a solid model. I'm going to close my most of my menus here. Except I need this one back up. And you have this button here that says Stitch Sheets. Click on that. It's going to bring this menu up here. And we want to, we'll just keep the defaults in there, a thou, and just one pass is probably fine. We're going to turn off face selection. You can see this selects the whole, uh, everything that's stitched together so far, but you can see these are separate. So if I hold control down, you can see that's a, these are all separate sheets now. Now you can select them all at once and heal, or you can do one at a time. Let's just do one at a time for right now. I'll click on stitch. Now if I select this whole body you can see now it adds this into this because this is one considered one sheet now. So I'll select the other two and this one. Stitch. Okay those are all healed nicely together, stitched together. You can see this is the last thing I have to stitch together. This one and this one stitched together. 
and you can see immediately it turns gray. That is Gibbs way of telling you this is a solid model now. There's no gaps uh, or anything in this model. It's a nice model now. Now you can begin machining it. And like I say, you have your original in the body bag there. So you can always bring it back out if you need to refer to it or extract geometry to do the groove when you're ready for that operation. This is a little simple way on how to uh, patch up parts. And it works really well in Gibbs. Thank you for watching.